Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beauty for the TV. We are back with another curly wig slay and today we'll be using a 30 inch deep wave wig from my brand the BH Slay and you guys I always list the website down below on where to purchase my units so go ahead and get you one of these okay and that's period. So today we'll be doing another um, like three braided style but with a little crisscross and I'm um, going into two ponytails and Nika bought a wig for me, of course. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and start by adding the foundation into the side, inside of the lace. Now this is a 30 inch deep wave, um, 13 by six HD wig, of course. And I went ahead, bleached it, plucked it, you know, really good. And I bleached it so, like, there is no visible knots, okay? And I started using this new bleaching powder, y'all. I've been using the Shimmering Lights bleaching powder. And I absolutely love it. So, make sure y'all try that one out. But um, jumping straight into the install, I did go ahead and braid her down, do her cap. And now I'm just going in with some adhesive. And we're going to go ahead and apply about three or four layers. Um, I'm not sure how many I did, but apply those layers to the skin and once it's done um, with the last layer we'll go ahead and start melting down the lace. So now I'm about to go ahead and apply the lace and pull it down. And I always like to start with the center first and then work my way over to the sides. And I like to just use my fingertips to press that glue in. But once I have the lace placed where I need it to be, I'm going to have her hold each corner. And then I'm going to just take my comb, comb it in, and then also go in with the blow dryer and blow dry the lace in before tying down the nail belt. And I am going in on the heat setting. I know some people like to use cool air. Some people use the like, you know, hot air. I mean, it just, I don't know. I guess it's just your preference, honestly. But I usually just use a little heat when I, um, you know, apply the lace. But I do understand why people do use cool air because you don't want, you know, of course, to heat up the hairline to where it starts sweating before you, um, you know, finish installing it. But um, nevertheless, um, I'm just, you know, kind of plaiting the back out the way and I'm going to go in with that melt belt and tie the hairline down. And off camera, I did go ahead and sew the back of her lace down to make sure it's super secure in the back. She was hurt. 
So now that I went ahead and removed that male belt, I'm just hot combing the hairline back nice and neat. I'm just making sure the hairline is clean and neat. And I'm going to take some scissors and begin to um, slip the lace down the middle and go in with the eyebrow razor and eyebrow razor off that extra lace and tack down any edges that still may be lifting. Now, before I actually started the video, I did go on, you know, put her wig on her head um, to pull out the hairs that did not match the shape of her hairline. So I did a little bit, but I didn't want to go in too much because you know, you gotta always go back in and cut the lace. But now I'm just going in with that eyebrow razor and razoring off all of that extra lace and just getting everything, you know, together before we start the actual styling process. So now that we have everything tacked down, we're gonna start by doing a middle part because that is the base of the style, like the basic parting of the style, shall I say. So I like to start off with my middle part, just go ahead and use a little wax and just sweep that down nice and neat. And then I'm going to go ahead and start, you know, braiding up the little tiny braids, pulling out my sections. And I'm gonna pretty much try to go in detail with one side of how I did things. And on my latest tutorial, I did a three braids on the 36 inch hair. Um, kind of like that same little idea, but we did add a little twist to this one. So um, if you have not seen that 30 inch slate video, make sure you do watch it after this because it is a banger, okay? But um, nevertheless, I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing my middle braid first. Um, and sometimes I usually do this style without a baby hair in the middle, but if you prefer to do a baby hair in the middle, 
you can but um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get the middle braid braided and then um i will go ahead and work on creating the side braids but i'm just gonna go ahead and start braiding it straight back And now that that middle braid is complete, we're gonna go ahead and create our section for this side part. And I usually curve it a certain way, but today I wanted to do like a different little type of curve, like start up higher and then swoop it more down, um, just to give it somewhat of a different type of look. But um, I'm creating my second section. So this section that I'm putting right now, like I'm waxing and everything, that's gonna be into my ponytail. The rest of it is gonna hang down while I create my baby or my swoop, as you see in the thumbnail in the beginning of this video. So now I'm just taking a hot comb and just hot combing everything in a direction where I want it to lay. Then we're gonna pull out our section to complete our side braid. And then we're gonna pull out two individual sections to create two little um, plaits and those plaits will play in our little crisscross type of, you know, action we'll have going on in the side.
And for the baby hairs, we will be doing the little um, dra dramatic swoop into the baby hair hairline type of combo thing. So um, I'm pulling the hair, you know, out for the sideburn and this side little swoop or whatever. And after I do that, I will be taking my two little small sections, kind of like, I just kind of make them like two little triangle sections. And I plait those up because they were going to be our um, crossover plaited look. And as I mentioned, I did go ahead and create both sides. So this is one side and here's the other because everything is going to be symmetrical for this look. So now that I have done that and I put out this uh, baby hair section for both areas, we're going to go ahead and prep this hairline to do our um, second step melting process. And I'm just going in with that foundation once again and just tapping across the hairline to take away that little light halo. And I am using the Ruby Kisses palette level 15 um in that darker brown shade and that palette so just going across the hairline and tapping it with that foundation once again and then we're going to spray and tie down this hairline to get it nice and super melted super blended and then i am using the original um melt belt <laughs> spray that i started with which was the got to be spray i don't know just always something about going back to the basics that just have you remembering why you loved it in the first place so yeah i'm just going in with that got to be spray and i'm going to smooth everything down and just take that melt belt and secure it down really tight to give us the most perfect super melted look
Now, so since we have that melt bell sitting and it has no interference with doing our ponytails, I'm gonna go ahead and get those ponytails done. So I already have everything sectioned off into two parts. So now I'm just taking some got to be spray and keeping the two plaited sections hanging down, okay? Cause you're gonna use that part later. I'm just gonna take that section, make sure I comb it back nice and smooth, really, really nice and smooth and using that holding spray. I'm just combing through the hair, making sure it's nice and flat and neat. And then I'm just gonna take a rubber band and secure that down really, really good, making sure it's nice and neat. But like I said, y'all, keep the two hanging parts down because you're gonna use that part later on. So I'm just moving everything up and I'm gonna secure it with a rubber band. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, the same exact thing to the other side as well. And then show you guys how I was able to get my braids to crisscross. So now that both ponytails are completed, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna crisscross the braids. So I'm gonna take um, two plaits from one side and so connect that with another rubber band around our current ponytail that we already have, taking both at the same time. And that's also why I placed the plaits where they were. And then I'm going to take the other two plaits from the other side and then cross it over the opposite direction to get the braids to crisscross over and that's how i did it honestly y'all when it comes to this style i don't know how people specifically did theirs maybe they crocheted it in i don't know but this is how i like to um well this is how i was able to do mine and get that crisscross look effect i just went ahead and crossed them over just like that and then i'm gonna take a little piece 
to do the wrap around on both ponytails and then we would get into the baby hairs. And this is what you call a meltdown. Do y'all see that straight out the scalp? Okay, when I tell y'all we got the best wigs, it don't, it don't just be me talking. I be just dead serious, okay? So now we remove that um, melt belt, and now we're going to go ahead and get into the baby hairs because that is the most simplest yet the most effective, like, big kaboom. Like, honestly, I feel like baby hairs can make or break the look. So you wanna make sure you, you know, master doing some baby hairs. And before I go ahead and swoop it, I'm just going to pluck some of those hairs out. Um, me personally, I don't like super, super thin baby hairs where it's like really see-through, but you know, I don't like them too thick either. But at the same time with this new little swoop trending style baby hair, um, it do be a little bit fuller. And also over plucking to do baby hairs, I feel like it thins out and makes your wig balder in the front and it's just like so unnecessary. But you know, to each his own, you know, whatever you like, whatever your clients like, just, you know, do what you do. But yeah, I'm going in and I raised, um, you know, cut the baby hairs or whatever. And now I'm, um, you know, I curled them up and I'm just gonna go in with the holding spray, kind of prepping it out with my fingers, combing it out to see how it's gonna look. And then we're gonna take that holding spray, spray, I like to spray my edge brush and then start to swoop it. Some people spray it directly on the hair. It's up to you, your preference, whatever works best for you. But um, I like to spray it on the back of my brush and get the swoop in and boom, just keep, you know, swooping and blow dry until I get the desired look, making sure it's nice and swoop and it's super neat. And same thing for the sideburn. We're gonna swoop that sideburn up after, you know, we curl it and just make it do what it do. We done swoop that sideburn up, okay? Give it a nice little cinnamon swirl, period. And this is what it looks like after completing one side. And I went ahead and did the other side as well. And here is a close up and personal. Ooh, yes, ma'am. That's how that go. Y'all see my little crisscross design? And here is the final look after swooping everything up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, this is a 30 inch deep wave wig purchase from my collection. So make sure you use the description down below, the link down below my site to get you one of these. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this 30 inch slay. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and run this video up like y'all did the last one. Thank you beauties. I love y'all. Welcome to my new beauties that just joined the channel. I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all for watching. See you later.